If you guys are in need of some coins to get that player or team you've always wanted, make sure to check out Mutt's store and use code TD for 10% off. Yo guys, what's going on and welcome to the Youngest Player Draft. This one's pretty self-explanatory. Every time those three players pop up, I'm going to pull out my phone. I'm going to look up every single one of their ages. And whichever player is the youngest, I have to draft them, even if we already have a duplicate at that position. Now, these types of draft challenges, they do take a bit longer than the normal type of draft. So if you guys are enjoying them, let me know by leaving a like on the video. That way I know you guys want to see more of them. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Now, I don't think people really realize how important the coach round is. Like, I don't know, maybe it's just me. I find my playbook to be extremely important. So we got Mike Malarkey and Ron Rivera, who are 56 years old. And then we got the Super Bowl coach, Doug Peterson from the Eagles. He's 49, so we're going to draft him. I can tell you we're not getting Michael Kendricks. He's 27 years old. Deion Buchanan and Jernigan, they're actually each 25. And Buchanan is actually, it's like 25 days younger than Timmy Jernigan. It's less than a month, so uh, we're going to go with him. We actually got a legend in round number two, and I'm happy we got one this early because if you look at this card in the bottom left, it says that this was from the year 1999. So I'm going to go ahead... I'm gonna look up the year Larry Allen was born, and then I'm gonna figure out his age in 1999. Because if we looked at his age now, then you know he's like probably 60 plus. We would never get a legend. So again, we had another pretty close one. Cameron Jordan and Larry Allen, both 28 years of age. But Larry Allen, he's actually just a couple months younger in week one of the 1999 season. So we're gonna go with him. I think this is the earliest I've gotten the quarterback round. I don't even have to look this one up. Matt Ryan, I wanna say he is 32 years old. Roethlisberger is in his mid thirties. I wanna say 35, 36. And then Andrew Luck, he's not even 30 yet. I wanna say he's 29, 28. So that's the quarterback we're gonna be picking. We got that one out the way pretty early. Round number four, we got three defensive players here. This one isn't even close. Anthony Brown is much younger than Damon Harrison and Iloka. And I, that's actually pretty good. Well, they're starting to make some of these easy. Round number five, we're going with Von Bell. Another round where it wasn't even close. Bruce Matthews at 93. He was 32. Walter Jones was 30. DeForest Buckner, he is 23 years old. He is due for 23 years old. DeForest Buckner is a stud. Round seven, we got Kerrigan, Deion Jones, and Brandon Williams. I'm going to double check, but I think it's going to be Deion Jones. He is 23 years old, so we are getting our second middle linebacker. But I'm okay with that. Like, we got a ton of speed at the linebacker position. Round 8, we got Pierre Garçon. I already know it's not going to be him. We're adding another defensive player to this team. This time, free safety Jimmy Ward. So we got a couple safeties. We got a couple middle linebackers. We got a D lineman. We also got a cornerback. Round 9. And yeah, we're going to be adding another defensive player. Kyle Fuller. I'm not sure how I feel about this one. So we get Kareem Hunt. Like, I'm obviously excited. Kareem Hunt is amazing. But I already know in one of these, like, final nine rounds after this, we're going to get an all-running back round. Speak of the devil, here it is. And we're going to get Ezekiel Elliott. This is probably the first round where we actually had to go with the choice I least wanted. Like, Kelsey or Jordy Nelson would have been amazing. We actually got to go with Jack Doyle. He's 27 years old. All right, so we do get Odell Beckham Jr. I got worried for a second. Odell is 25. Martellus Bennett in 2013. He was actually 26. We're starting to get some duplicates. I would have really liked Buster Screen, but we're going to get Andre Howell. That's our second free safety. We're getting another stud wide receiver, this time Michael Thomas. So he's going to be across from Odell. Now we got our slot wide receiver, Brandon Cooks. That just gives us a ton of speed on offense. He was like 25 days younger than Mike Evans. Round 17, an all cornerback round. We got three really good players here. AJ Boye, 26 years old. I feel like this draft is actually going pretty well. You know, I guess we'll see in a couple more rounds. I would definitely like to get a couple more offensive linemen. We're getting our fourth wide receiver, Devontae Adams. Round 19, come on, offensive linemen or defensive linemen. Uh, we're gonna get one of them. Akeem Hicks is the youngest one here. Then we got the legend round. I feel like this final round is really gonna like make or break this draft. It definitely went well, but I feel like if we get a stud here, like Ronnie Lott or, I mean, I guess any of these players would work, but uh, we'll see which one is the youngest. I don't think you guys will believe this. Let me tell you, Ronnie Lott in 1986 in week number eight was 27 years old. Mike Singletary, 1985 in week number two was 27 years old. And then you guessed it, Andre Reed, also 27 years old. The chances of all three legends being 27 in like these years is pretty crazy to me but the youngest player at the time ronnie lott so we're getting a uh, four safety but i'm not mad because ronnie lott was definitely the best player on the board here so the one thing that really worries me about this team is definitely our offensive line we got larry allen and hopefully you can hold things down because other than that straight gold players and then on defense 
Defense is looking pretty good. I'm probably going to go ahead and slide one of these guys to outside linebacker. But uh, yeah, it turned out pretty well. I will say I am a little bit nervous going into this one. I haven't played Madden in about two weeks. And it looks like we're going up against an absolute stack defense by looking at his top three. I can tell you guys I've never ran this play in my life. Let's see if it works. Okay, it's uh... Oh gosh, yeah, we just got sacked. That play action took forever to develop. Remind me not to run that again. Okay, he looks like... All right, I'm... Oh, okay, that was... An... Oh my gosh, that block was so clutch. Now we got Jack Doyle wide open. Andrew Luck put it on the money. That was a huge play. That was one of the most clutch blocks I've ever seen by an offensive lineman. Okay, we're just going to go right underneath. That's Brandon Cooks. We made one guy miss. Now we're hitting him with the spin move. The biggest problem I'm having with this playbook is, like, it's so big that I really can't find the plays I'm looking for. Third and inches. We're actually going to try to get this one to the outside. Oh, there we go. We got blocks for days. Elliot, that's a touchdown. We're on the scoreboard first. All right, now I'm feeling pretty good. After not playing for a couple weeks, it's usually the offense where I'm definitely a bit rusty. But we went down and scored pretty easy. Uh, as I say that, he's got a first down. So far, this guy is just dinking and dunking down the field. Okay, we got the out routes covered. I was just a second too late to get in that interception. Uh, he's going to run the ball here with Gurley. We got that. Okay, um, Gurley somehow got loose. Uh, he's going to be inside the 10-yard line. I can't believe Gurley was able to get out of that. Okay, he's running the ball again. He's going again right to the flats. We're able to stop Kelsey at the 2. The last time he was in this formation, he ran a stretch. This time, he's going to go right up the middle. That was just... Okay, this guy just marched down the field and scored with ease. I'll admit, this guy definitely had his way with us when we were on defense. But I feel like we got his figured out. The problem is... We're getting no protection. This is super frustrating because we got wide receivers open. The problem is we're not getting enough time. Okay, there we go. Right across the middle. That's Michael Thomas. If we can keep getting protection like that, we're going to be just fine. Like this guy's just sitting in a cover three. There we go. Again, wide open. Michael Thomas. It looks like we finally got this guy to switch up his defense. It looks like it's either, I want to say cover two or cover four. We'll see. Come on. Just give me enough time. Oh, come on. Wait for it. Wait for it. Right across the middle. Michael Thomas. Let's go. That's another touchdown. Michael Thomas is just having a field day so far. Let's see if we can get a stop on defense. Okay, he's uh Oh, he's going across the middle. Oh, Ronnie Lott. Jimmy Ward got it off the tip. That's an interception. Ronnie Lott, that was a heck of a play. It looks like this guy's right back to cover three. I'm going to hit him over the top of four verts. There we go. Brandon Cook's wide open. Please catch that. Andrew Luck for some reason just has no chemistry with Brandon Cooks. That's so frustrating because that should have been another touchdown for Cooks. We're going to run the same exact play. Cooks is wide open again. This time we'll bullet pass it. And I guess we're not going to get a score before the half because this guy's going to end up quitting. Well, since that last guy decided to quit, we're going to go ahead and jump into a new game. I feel like if our offensive line can hold up, we're going to be just fine. Yo, he was off sides. How did they not call encroachment? Regardless, Look who it is, Michael Thomas, wide open. I know I'm passing the football a ton, but like you can go online every single day in Madden and find someone that's just going to run the ball over and over and over again. So uh, I'm trying to change things up. It looks, oh, maybe I should run the ball because we had no time on that one. Let's see what we got. Third and 12. This is definitely manageable. We got Jack Doyle wide open. So we got the first down. People just don't be covering Jack Doyle. I don't know what it is. Okay, he's going to cover him this time. I'm going to roll out to the right. And uh, all right, someone's got to go upfield. There, oh, there, look who it is. Jack Doyle wide open. Come on, get in the end zone. Jack Doyle fighting inside the 10. I actually got Kareem Hunt at fullback in case I want to pass the football. But I feel like we can run against this guy. Okay, we got a toss. Come on, Zeke, get to the outside. Oh, oh, Zeke, what a spin. Come on, get in there. That's a touchdown. Ezekiel Elliott, what a play. Again, our offense just starts off on fire. Oh, he's running PA crossers. I got the middle covered. He's got nowhere to go. That's a sack. Okay, he's not running PA crossers again. Uh-oh, watch the middle. He's running with Wilson. Oh, he's playmaker in. He's got, yeah, he had like everyone wide open. The biggest problem on that last play is we let Wilson get outside the pocket. Looks like, oh no. Oh, yeah, that's, that. I'll say it. The last two plays have been absolutely horrible. He's going to run the ball here with Freeman. He's going to be just short. It's going to make things third down. I got that covered. There we go. I'm patrolling with Blot. He's got nothing. He's looking. Oh, interception. Pick six. What? Why? Why was... What just happened? Why is this game broke? Like, how is he marked down? That should have been an easy interception. Now we got to go ahead and drive down the field. Uh-oh, Zeke might do it on this play right here. Zeke, another spin move. I'm actually confused how Deion Jones was ruled down on that interception. Oh, dude, if 78 could have held this block, that would have been a huge play. Okay, we got some protection here. Oh, he's wide open. Come on, get it there. Odell Beckham, that's a touchdown. Andrew Luck put it on the money. 
That makes up for the pick six. All right, I, I guess no one wants to play today. All right, boys, we did pretty well. We got ourselves two wins. I'm like looking at this team, like with this playbook, like it was like a perfect match. Now, if we could have got some more offensive linemen, like we would have been set. We probably would have won the championship by now. That being said, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to leave a like if you did. Comment down below what draft challenge you want to see next. And until next time, I will see you later. Peace out.